Yeah, am I looking at a camera? This one? What up? My name is Josh Chavitas. I'm here today to paint the off-white Jordan 1. Do I start? Can I go? Yep, yeah, alright. Fuck, these are tight. I grew up like hella broke. You know, my parents are immigrants from Guatemala, so buying expensive sne sneakers is like, what the fuck are you talking about, you know? I think a lot of it has to do with uh, my older brother and my dad. My dad was, you know, half of the fucking shit in our house he made. My brother's an architect now in LA. Oh, I hated him, dude. He was so good at fucking drawing. Like elementary school, like, oh, we have an art show. This fool's like drawing my mom, like perfect face, you know? And like everyone else was like chicken scratch. When I'm done with these, these are gonna look like a drawing, you know? And like, that's, that's like what I'm super into right now. I partnered up with Jordan for All-Star Weekend. The Jordan 1, just regular, kind of like had gone somewhat viral, I guess. And uh, my buddy Frank works over there. So Frank hit me up and he's like, I'm gonna be in town for this like Jordan party. He wears them. Obviously like Frank Hook, like wearing it at an event, like wasn't a bad look. Some of the higher ups are kind of like, yo, you know that guy, let's get him involved. We obviously want you to be there painting sneakers during our activation in Little Tokyo. But also we would like some artwork to, to showcase like inside the space. I want you to do metal backboards, East Coast styles with different designs of the holes. And I'm like, all right, cool. That was the first project with Jordan. But the fact that Nike slash Jordan allowed Virgil to, to do this to shoes changes everything moving forward. I've heard so many times from other people that have done collaborations that like, there's no way this was possible when they tried, you know, the aspirants are like, no, you're fucking tripping, you know? So the fact they let him do this shit, like, look at the swoosh, fucking wild. The second they came out, the red and whites, I was like, dude, they gotta make a fucking white pair, and if they do, like, I gotta do this shit, you know? The concept is bringing sketches to life. A lot of people, like, call it cartooning, which, like, I think sounds stupid. Tinker Hatfield is, like, a legend in the sneaker game, and he was so interested in, like, what I was doing. He's like, what, like, like, this is crazy. He's like, I love this. Picking and choosing the lines. You're paying homage to like, you know, designers, which like rarely get credit. Usually it just like goes to production and people just see like the final product and people kind of forget about like where it actually started. He's like, you're bringing light to that. That day was, was kind of wild. And like literally like 10 minutes later, like Russell Westbrook walks up and he's like, oh, you're the guy doing the sneakers like on Instagram. I'm like, yeah, what's good, you know? He's like, yo, how do I get a pair? I'm like, fuck, this is crazy. To be 100% honest, like, I get a shitload of DMs now, and it's just like, how do I get these shoes? Obviously, like, almost every day. It was just like, DM, what up? We like what you're doing. I work for LeBron. But he said LeBron, and I was like, I mean, we'll see. You know, I kind of just like tested it out, and I'm like, word, this is how much it is. And the guy's like, you know, usually we don't pay for this. Like, you're gonna get exposure. I didn't know if it was real or not, so I was like, kind of, I don't want to say I was being an asshole, but I was like, yo, to be honest, like, I don't need exposure right now. Like, I need funds. He kind of just like went ghost for like a few weeks, and I was like, all right, like that, that wasn't real, you know. A few weeks later, he hit me back again. He's like, yo, like, let's do it. We want you to do his off-white Air Force Ones. I was like, oh, send him here, sent him over. I painted him. It was one of those where it's like, I wasn't sure. Obviously, you never know. Well, one, is he gonna wear them? And two, is he gonna be like, yo, like, I just got these, right? So I kind of just went ahead and went on my Instagram and I was like, fuck it, these are like one of one for LeBron. Two days later, after I post that photo, the Cavs posted it. It was kind of surreal, to be honest. He's a fucking icon. So after that, so-and-so football player, baseball player, I don't want to like drop names, but we're like, yo, I need a pair now. This looks sick. I do illegal shit too, you know? I think of like Banksy and like all the dudes from 7th Letter. At the end of the day, I think a majority of what I do is like street art. No one pays attention to cones, man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just a fucking thing that's always there. I wanted something that was somewhat easily accessible. Obviously like a decent size, not too big. And from the jump, I wanted to be able to leave, you know, pieces of, of what I do around the world. And I've dropped them everywhere from LA, obviously New York, Chicago, London. I just fucked them up, whatever. There's a small smear right here, you see that? That just fucked up. This is like, you know, I'm like, oh fuck. Obviously like artists that work with like paint and like other colors, if there's an error or something, they can kind of blend. 
I'm working with fucking black and white. <laughs> so if I fuck up a line, you know, to me, the whole thing's fucked. Lace this thing up. 